Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen, welcome to Cook and Scoop. Today I'm going to have a challenge for myself. I'm going to make the grandma cookies. Whenever we visit my mother, these cookies are always there and my son tends to call them grandma cookies. So today I will be calling them grandma cookies, but the main ingredient is the wheat starch. So you can call them starch cookies if you like. As I said, it's going to be a challenge because it's the first time I'm going to be doing it. I hope I will do a good job. And uh, the taste is amazing. I tasted it and I was like, I have to try this. You can find the list of the ingredients and how to make this uh, grandma cookies down in the description part. Please have a look at the ingredients and I'm sure you have most of them at home. There are actually two reasons why I'm doing this. First, I like to give myself a challenge. And second is my son is going to be visiting his school after such a long time due to the confinement, obviously. Uh, next week he's just going to go to school for a couple of days and I said why not I make this wonderful cookie he can share it with his friends some of his friends and uh, his teachers we will see how many I will have at the end maybe it will be too much for you uh, then you can just use half uh, the amount of the ingredients and then you can end up with less these cookies can stay for a long time in a jar so if you want to keep some for your guests or your children who can come and take it from time to time it's always great to have these in the kitchen and even just the smell of uh, this these cookies give you a, a cozy feeling a nice feeling so why don't we start as I said, it's going to be a challenge for me as well, so please forgive me if I make a mistake some, uh, at some point. But I'll be checking the recipe from time to time just to make sure. And uh, perhaps it's, it will be a good idea for you to have a closer look. So I will film it from up above as well so that you can see what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. I'll start with the first part of uh, my cookies, which is to put two eggs in a big bowl and the sugar. I have two glasses of sugar. I know, I know sugar is not good, but yeah, for once I think we can allow ourselves to, to go crazy a little bit. So what I'm going to do is mix the two until the sugar has melted. So I'm going to be making some noise, just forgive me. I mix the sugar and the eggs together and uh, now I'm going to add the rest of all the other ingredients. I'm going to add one and a half espresso cup of vegetable oil. I used sunflower oil because I had it at home. If you have another uh, vegetable oil, you can use that as well. I put two packs of baking powder. I'm going to put 250 grams of butter uh, that I left in the room temperature because I need it a little bit soft. So this is the butter. You can see how soft it is. I'm just going to put it there. This, <laughs> it looks like a very messy job here. Sorry, I did a horrible job. Okay. Then I will add half, uh, half a kilo, 500 grams of uh, wheat starch. Of course, I'm going to sift it just in case. It's always good to sift. Perfect. Except for the uh, flour, I have everything in there. I'm going to mix them slightly. And since I don't want everything flying all over, I'm just going to mix it before I start my mixer. And let's not forget to put it in a low speed. Again, to avoid the starch flying all over. I'm 
I think I'm done with the mixer and I'm gonna put it aside. So I have everything mixed in here except for the flour. Now I'm going to add the flour. I am trying to achieve a kind of soft dough. So to make sure, I'll start with one glass of flour and then mix it. It's true that it's really soft, you can see. It feels like marshmallow. The feeling of the dough or the mixture or the cake batter, but this is not a cake, the biscuit batter. <laughs> see, it's still soft. And since we put butter and sunflower oil, I think we can put, we can add more flour. So I'm going to add another half glass of I added another half glass of flour. I'm going to mix it again. I think I'm getting there. Yeah. is really soft. What I'm going to do is to add the other half and then continue kneading with my hands. I think it's the right time now. Mm. <laughs> the feeling is so good. Honestly, with the amount of butter that we put, we could even easily call this the butter cookies. This is perfect. Let me reach the very bottom. Okay, I think I got the right texture. So all we need to do is just take like a one, uh, yeah, it's like one lemon. Yeah, we can say that. We sh you can shape this any, any way you like, but I like the oval shape. So I'll just give the shape like this and then put it on my tray. Either put some oil on your tray. Uh, in my case, I'm using um, the cooking paper, so it will be easy. We're going, I'm going to be shaping these one by one, which will take a little bit of time. And then I'm going to put it in the oven at 150 degrees until they get golden brown. The first batch of my cookies are ready, so I'm going to put them in the oven. I had been preheating my oven at 150 degrees, now I'm going to put them. I put them in the middle section of my oven. I'll close it, just to make sure. I'll go for 15 minutes first. And then if I need more, I will just do it more. Yeah. 
So I'm going to take them out of the oven now. As you can see, they have slightly changed color and I just need this. I don't need more. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very dry. So I think we did a good job. What do you think? I took them out of the oven and they look gorgeous. I mean, the color has slightly changed. I don't need more because otherwise they're gonna go totally dry and we don't want that. The texture is a little bit crispy on the outside, but it's inside, it's like melting. It's so delicious. I'm just gonna let this cool for a while and then plate it and then come back to you again. Welcome back. Here is the result. I think I did a good job with the challenge. Apparently the taste is really good too because my son couldn't wait and he tasted one. Um, well, maybe I could have done them a little bit smaller, but I don't know, it looks okay to me. But if you need, uh, in terms of uh, number, if you need more, maybe you can make them a little bit smaller. Um, as you can see, the color is slightly golden brown. That's what we need. It's not dry. The texture is really good and when you take it in your mouth, it really melts. I hope you make this too. It is really, really nice. It will be the cookie that stays in your kitchen at all times. So I hope you liked my video. If you did, why don't you press that like button? And once you're at it, why don't you subscribe to my channel as well? And if you make it and if you have a photo of it, please tag me on Instagram as well uh, at cook and scoop. I would really love to see the, your creations. So I thank you very much for joining me for this challenge today. And I see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye bye.